welcome back fans and friends for this upcoming video I have for you green lights running on empty series 13 and this one is the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport Rebel win Rally winner it is as I said series 13 and there is the Ford performance parts the uh, because it's not sponsored by any sort of an oil company it's sponsored instead by Ford itself and other than that we have an air filter on that side there and we have the usual stuff 164 die cast metal the french version of that contains one done cast car as we all know it does not have the limited edition badging on it so we can clearly see the sticker on that side over there 4856 and so far so good it does look all right i had a ford bronco actually i'll maybe i should bring it up now but the uh one of these roof racks was severely damaged, so I will see if this one is not severely damaged. In fact, let me just go and see if I can find it. Right, I just have it right here. So basically, this is also a Ford Bronco Sport. You can see the damage here. I did not bring it up in the video because I didn't notice until after the video. So this is a very similar vehicle to this. As you can see, the wheels are 99% the same but this video will hopefully not be too much of a comparison it'll be more of a just on this car itself so we're just going to go over the normal green light stuff they do have which is one of the things i like about green light and just before i start after i finish it i will get into it so i've done this one the xr xr7 trans am racer from gulf oil standard oils f100 drop and hook the silverado with blown engine sdp the gaster type one and this one i just covered recently Corvette Stingray, I've done quite a few of them. The Shell Oil, in fact, I think I might have done this one, but a previous version of it, not just this one. And then obviously this 2021 Bronco Sport Rebel Rally winner is this one. So we have here the usual stuff, 2021. We have GM, Ford, Gulf Oil, STP, uh, Texaco, Chevron, Shell, Michelin, which is the tire company. So, so far I have not noticed, probably because I haven't done all the vehicles, I haven't noticed which one has the uh, Michelin tires, because if they're going to show it off, they might as well uh, have it on the vehicle. So I was just going to bring up rather quickly, uh, and I brought up in the last video with the Hot Wheels Ultra Hots, because the package looks so nice, you don't mind living in the package. So one of the things with these running on empties, the Black Bandits, and trying to think of the last series they look really nice take them out take them out you leave them in the package they live in the package so why that's an issue is because you pay for me anyway here in Canada I pay the same amount for this that I would in this I'm not gonna cover this car don't worry but this is a 1971 Dodge Charger RT 446 pack as you can read there release 66 this can be left in its package and it looks really nice uh, so one of the things I'm bringing up is the Hot Wheels. Those ones are four ninety nine. Comes out to almost about six fifty. Sorry, five five sixty five five seventy. And it doesn't look as nice as this. It's getting there because, like I said, it introduces color and everything else. But this here is laminated, so it'll last a lot longer. And if you cover it, like here, the green lights, they cover in plastic. So it's gonna last as long as the plastic lasts. This one, it is paper, but it's like a laminated paper. And yes, you pay almost. The same price like I said nine dollars as you do for this but it looks just so much nicer and I've brought it up the difference between the m2 deluxe and the non m2 deluxe so this auto driver series is just not going to be as good but the car does look really nice so just to get back on track here it's one of those things where Hot Wheels is on its way and the reason I'm bringing that up is because I have a few Hot Wheels premiums that are not quite as premium because the labels don't look as good. So anyway, just saying, if you're out there collecting them, just get the best one for your dollar. And if you really like it, you really like it, keep it in the package, that's fair. But it's, you're gonna, now with as expensive as things are, are you gonna really pay the same $9 you're gonna get for that M2 and then take it out? And then it's not as good as a deluxe, which is a dollar more. But if you don't take it out, you'll never know how much better it is. I am just saying. Let's see. So there you are, the standard green light insert. And as we can see there, they happen to, green light is one of those comp strange companies that they will do things as complicated as printing all this stuff on the vehicle. And it'll usually be very well done. 
So we can see therefore performance, rebel rally 201. And even the writing here is legible, it's just very hard for me to read. And then we can all see there the Ford Bronco. Marmot on the side there, there's the gas cap. We have the Bronco uh, insignia there, and there's the Bronco again for Rebel Rally. It's all legible, it's just I need a magnifying glass. So we're just gonna go to the front of the vehicle where it says Bronco. I do like the R's different color there, and the lights are just painted on. There's no inserts, but they've done the paint for once evenly. It is, no, they are inserts. So they are inserts, it's painted over. You can see there. And so I guess it looks like inserts to me. You can see there's a little bit of the glue. So anyway, I'll try to keep this brief. Rear view mirrors on the other side of the driver's cabin. We have there, nice and evenly painted, no superficial damage to the production of the vehicle. Go to this side, almost exactly the same as the other side. The only difference is there's no gas cap. Everything else appears to be identical. Now this is a little bit different. We can see a little bit of a paint mist there that is not there. And one of the issues is I think they because they painted it on the window and the window is indented, so it might not match up. So in the bumper, I have, sorry, the rear end of the vehicle, you can see the Bronco Sport. There's the keyhole, there's the Ford, but they've left the license plate blank, which is one of those weird things where it's so easy to add for them. I guess they just don't want to do it. And then we have the Bronco again. It's legible, it's just not legible by me. And then we have Rebel Rally 201 again. And the roof rack appears to be undamaged. There's the nice Bronco on the sunroof. And we can see the sunroof or what it would look like if it was not like that. And finally, we go to the underside of the car where we see the body is almost identical to the other Ford Bronco. The only difference is they have included the sticker with the limited edition number, as I said before, 48856. And 2021 Ford Bronco Sport Badlands. So that little symbol there then is for the Badlands because it is otherwise not here where they would usually put it, right? So they have to move it here when they put all those sponsors and everything else here, and they've just moved it up there. So it says nothing about the Rebel Rally. You're just going to have to take their word for it, plus the, the fact that they've printed it on the side there. So it's another one of those things Greenlight does where it's, it's this, but what it should be is that, and then Badlands. So basically this thing, but not competing in a rally. So... Uh, I'm hoping it rolls. The wheels, as we can see, roll very freely. We have nothing to complain about. And there we have it. It goes. There's a little bit of a wobble, but it's not serious because the car rolls. Nobody cares. It rolls, it rolls. And again, I'm just going to bring it up how I have been rather fortunate the last few times that the windshields of these vehicles have been almost see-through. At least in the front cabin there, you can see it gets kind of darker from the back but the front cabin is almost see-through. So there we have it, fans and friends, the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport Rebel Rally winner, 2021. Again, this is Thomas from Toronto, and thanks for watching.